Mack Brown was introduced as the new North Carolina football coach in December 1987. We will preach to the players as we get around them is that we want to win because I really do not feel like that you can have the uh, full experience and self-confidence and, and molding your personality unless you do win. The first two years of Brown's tenure were rocky, with the Tar Heels going 2-20. and 20. Um, If it wasn't for John Swafford, I wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Um, I wouldn't have won a national championship, and I sure wouldn't have been back here because we wouldn't, enough, wouldn't have won enough games if John had panicked um, for me to stay. And I can remember in those early years, Frank Beamer and I were the two that they were talking about whether they were going to keep or not. And, and that was just, that, that was part of our deal. But fortunately for, for both of us, the Virginia Tech and North Carolina decided to keep us. Over the next eight seasons, Brown's teams would go 67-26-1 and, and play in six bowl games. In 1997, the Tar Heels finished the season ranked number six in the final AP poll. In December of that year, Brown shocked the Heels by leaving Chapel Hill to coach at Texas. I, um, last day and a half have been uh, really tough for me. It's been emotional, it's been tough. I um, got a call from Texas and met with them yesterday. It's with great pride and pleasure that I introduce to you the new football coach at the University of Texas, Mac Brown. Thank you. I think we can do that a little bit to start it. At Texas, Brown reached national prominence. His Longhorn teams went 158 and 48 over 16 seasons, playing in 15 bowls and two national championship games. His 2005 team went undefeated, beating USC for the BCS national championship. I don't want this to be the best things that are happening in your life. When you're 54, I don't want you to say winning a football game is the best thing that ever happened in my life. You'll have it and you'll be a champion for the rest of your life. You make sure that's one of the best sports things in your life, but you promise me if you got enough about you to win a national championship, you got enough about you to be a great citizen and a great role model, a great father, and a great leader in your family. Yes. In 2010, Texas went 5-7. and seven. Brown coached the Longhorns for three more seasons, but retired from coaching in 2013. We have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. You are good young men. You've done everything we've asked you to do. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm proud of you. And I will walk out of here with my head damn high tonight. In January 2018, Brown was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. For every college football coach, the dream is to be in the National Football Foundation Hall of Fame. And it's happening. It's real. To be able to join such a wonderful group and to have your name going in tonight with Frank Beamer and Mel Churchman is just really, really special. Eleven months later, Brown rejoined the coaching ranks. First of all, welcome Mac and Sally Brown back to Chapel Hill and the University of North Carolina. This team has a void. They lost their coach. They had some very difficult games this year. Well, Sally and I have a void because we haven't had a team for a number of years now. And this afternoon, when we meet that team, we will fill their void for being their leaders and, and their coach, and they'll fill our void for needing a team.